The journey called, Life by, Mary Louis D. Cargo. What is life? It is a simple question with no simple answer. The very question we find hard to define until we begin to contemplate what is life really all about. It is a four-letter word that has different meanings for different people. Some say life is good, while others say that life is short, some say life is never fair, and some say that life is simply what we make it. Perhaps, we are all entitled as to how we give meaning to life, because our definition of life is greatly influenced with the different aspects of our lives, physical, social, emotional and most importantly, spiritual our intimate relationship with the Divine Creator and Savior. Life is precious. It is far beyond precious than any diamond, gold or silver. Life is short, so short that one lifetime is simply not enough to do the things we want to do, achieve and pursue. Life is so precious, so short and as the song goes, only one life so soon it will pass. Only what's done for Christ will last. Only one chance to do His will. So give to Jesus all your days. It's the only life that pays. When you recall you have but one life. Yes, that's true. It doesn't really matter how much money you've had in the bank, how much you've owned, how many places you've been to, how many prominent people you've known, how many recognition you've achieved, and how many extravagant things you can afford to buy. Life is simply what we make it, and this is what really matters in the end. Life is a race. It is an extraordinary race to run with the ultimate goal to win. Running the race is never an easy task and it will never be, especially if we take into consideration the chaotic social, economic and political situations of our present time. With all the pressures that seem to make life harder and hinder us from seeing our target goal of winning. If the load gets heavy and the race run seems hard to handle, too big to conquer, rest if you must, cry if it will ease the pain, but never, never quit. Always put into mind the famous quote by Napoleon Hill, a quitter never wins and a winner never quits. Life is a battle. It is a battle that needs to be conquered. Winning life's battle needs faith, conviction, determination, courage and commitment. The kind of faith that will heal our soul and restore our relationship with God, the conviction that will move mountains and do miracles, the determination that will reach the unreachable, the courage that will keep us going and the commitment that will make the impossible, possible. According to Richard DeVos, it is impossible to win the race unless you venture to run, impossible to win the victory unless you dare to battle. If we stumble and fall, it doesn't mean we have to give up, it rather means we have to try again and persevere. Prosperity never comes without trying and enduring. Life is a matter of perspective. There are just some things in life that we could no longer change, the consequences of the wrong decisions we've made, the frustrations over shattered dreams, the tears shed over broken vows and the time and effort wasted over unnecessary actions. If we have committed mistakes, it simply means we have to get up and move on. It's high time to change our perspective of life and to get back to basics by getting on our knees, asking God to start a new life with Him. Take by heart the serenity prayer, Reinhold Niebuhr, God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and wisdom to know the difference. Life is a journey. God designed life to be a wonderful journey towards home, heaven. He didn't promise an easy way though, but peace amidst the hard way. The choices that we make and the path that we're going to take are in our hands. So, let us choose to commit our life and ways unto the Lord. We are the very ones who will determine our destination in life. May the path that we have chosen leave footprints for the younger generation to follow, may our life serve as a living testimony and may all those who come behind us find us faithful. And in the end, it's not the years in your life that count. It's the life in your years. Tilda Abraham Lincoln. Life should be purpose driven. To live life to the fullest is to know our purpose in life. It would be very difficult to live life without a purpose. It's like traveling down a narrow road without ever knowing where we're headed to. Our lives should be motivated with a purpose, not only for ourselves but first of all, for Jesus and others. An unselfish purpose that will motivate us to have compassion for those who are lost in sin and to those who have given up hope long time ago, to show little act of kindness, to do good to everyone as we have therefore opportunity, to help even in our own little ways to be a blessing and to make a difference in someone's life, to touch lives. Let's just listen to our hearts and do whatever our hearts tell us, to live life in the light of God's will, to love, glorify and honor our Savior Jesus Christ. Live each day as if it were your last. Life means to love, inspire, forgive and endure. Life is to, believe, care, dream, give, laugh, listen, share and touch lives. 
This simply means that despite sorrow, we still dare to love, despite failures, we inspire, despite pain, we forgive, and despite hardships, we endure. Above all, take God's hand in traveling the journey called, life. Are you tired, broken and weary? Why not give Jesus a chance to be your Lord and Savior? Sincerely say this prayer in your heart. Dear God, I come before your throne, asking for your loving mercy and grace. I am a sinner and I believe you're the only one who died for my sins at Calvary to save my lost soul from eternal death and hell. I ask forgiveness for my sins, shortcomings and secret faults and I lay them down to you. I open my heart and accept you as my personal Lord and Savior. From now on, you will be my one and only God, Savior, Heavenly Father and King. Help me to start a new life with you and to walk obediently and faithfully with you, until you'll call me home. I love you, Lord and thank you for loving me unconditionally. Thank you for saving my soul. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Tilda Romans chapter 10 verse 13.